Okay, so I get a lot of questions about uh, setting the tangs on the uh, the carburetors uh, and WMK. Uh, you know, probably about 11, 12 years ago, uh, I was reading the book and uh, <laughs> had all these uh, ridiculous measurements. So I had to get a special ruler for it. And then when I put everything back together, it the inconsistencies the carbs would be leaking or there wouldn't would be enough fuel so i thought to myself there has to be a, a better way to actually set these carbs so that's what this video is all about um so if you have any suggestions or hate comments i don't even care whatever but this is how i set all my carbs for all my engines and all my boats are on the water so thank you for watching let's go Okay, so what this video is all about is properly setting the uh, tangs, which I, I have in my WMK video, but um, I still get a lot, a lot of uh, qu questions about it. Now, I've ultrasonically cleaned the car from the 1500, which, I mean, they look really good. So what, what I'm going to do is use the bottom carb, just because it only has one tube. Um, these you might be a little creative with and close that. And the same with this one. This is a top carb. Okay, so now I got the bottom carb, and we're doing this. And Dr. LK is in the house. Here, here. I'm totally not wearing a dress under this, and, and didn't take off my dress to put it on. I just put yep. it on top of it. Don't, 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 don't look at my pants. I don't have. No, 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 no. <laughs> hey, at least their socks match. That that that's a plus. Okay, all right. So now, so now we're going to video um, how to properly set, set the tanks. I know there's all types of measurements, like three sixteenths of an inch, which you know I've never used them. Um, <clears throat> I've been doing this for for about twelve years now. I mean, maybe over a decade, whatever you want to call it. And I've never had any issues with any of a my million engines. decades. All of my boats are on the water. And that's what that's what matters. So I'm gonna hand it over to the Dr. LK. I'm gonna show you how to properly set, set these Wait. tangs, okay? <laughs> you all know I check I'm recording, so here it goes. Okay, so the tangs drop. I mean, you can see. I'm sure there's a measurement there. It's probably like a quarter of an inch or something like that. But what, what do you want to sort of camera? <clears throat> yes, I'm on camera. Yeah, back up maybe just a little bit. <clears throat> Okay, so what I did was just connect a tube here, just so I can blow air. Because if air can get through, fuel can get through, which is called flooding in your carbs. So <clears throat> what you want to do is just set this on a flat surface, just like that. When you blow in here, nothing should pass. Yep, so nothing can pass, okay? So now, as soon as you lift this up, uh, the air should automatically just go through there. Here, close up of that. <clears throat> close up. Close up. Is it, is it, is it close? Okay. Very close. <clears throat> okay, so now. So as soon as you lift up off the flat wood, <clears throat> it's release air slash fuel into the carburetor system. Now I've already set these three. I'm gonna zoom out. Oh, right, my I've finger already, was in the way. I've already That's set cool. these three. I've cut off the back drag tube, as you can see. So um, what's next is I'm I'm, I'm going to put together. Uh, this is a 1500. Zoom out. I'm zooming in all the way. Yeah, zoom out. <laughs> Zoomed all the way out. Look, this is going to be seen like all over the place. You can zoom out and focus on me. Come on. No, that's too close. <laughs> We're gonna have to cut and we'll have to refilm this. Right, no. Come on, look, look, this is... There you go. Zoom out. There you go. We're just gonna have to cut that out. Okay, step back. 
I okay. stepped back and I'm so, zooming yeah, in. I mean, I, I do have all the rollers uh, to measure all these BS, uh, you know, in a perfect world. Um, you know, some of these bigger mercurized might get uh, disturbed by this. Uh, whatever, you know, I don't really care because all my boats are in the water. But, but like I said, this is the method to do it. And the reason why is because of the way that the fuel flows. Now, I don't have a straight edge, so I'm going to just use a, uh, a wrench to explain this. So you're going to have to come up here. Okay. Now you can go higher. And then you go, you go higher. And then you look down the throat of the, of the carb. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> now, come stand over here. <laughs> okay, so the tangs are set to, to accentuate the, uh, the main valve there and then the venturi there. So, if you have your tangs set to stop right there, then you have plenty of fuel there and you should see fuel bu bubbling out there which is very key to starting the engine we're gonna have yeah. to add some airless yeah, this is very key to, to add to the engine so what i'm gonna do next let me zoom on me now zoom out zoom. i said zoom out not zoom in zoom out yeah okay so again the float needs to rise to that, not above that, because then you have fuel flowing out of the front. But this needs to bubble, okay? Like you have to be able to see fuel in there, because what happens is, the venturi, as the pistons suck the air in, it pushes this down, which pushes this up, which vaporizes the fuel for easy starting. So, <clears throat> I mean, these engines are already hard enough to start, So, but you have to get this proximity exactly correct. So... I'm going to put all this back together, and then I'm going to put it back on this 1500 over here. Right okay. here? Yep, right here. Yep. We're going to put it back on this one, and then we're going to test my theory. Uh, well, it's not really a theory I've been doing for quite some time, but we're, we're going to see if it starts. You know, I'm gonna... He's been doing this a million years. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> you know, I'm well, not actually a million, but <laughs> get it. the first time, but <clears throat> I do have to fix the distributor wires. The trigger is good, but the distributor wires are just retarded someone decided to put just liquid uh liquid uh, electrical tape on them and it's, it's just not working for me so i'm going to take all these off and rewire this whole distributor install these carbs with the proper setting to where like again the fuel just stops right there and you see the fuel in the actual venturi i'm gonna leave the actual uh the uh the cages off that that way you can actually see you got me? Yeah. Well, okay. I can. Do you want now, me to zoom in more? No, 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 don't zoom in because I have a lot of pimples. But don't zoom in. <laughs> but, um, so, so that way you can see exactly what's, what's going on because this 150 is very, one is very healthy. It's over 150 uh, PSI on all six cylinders using fresh water. So I'm trying to get this back to its original state, storing state. I'm going to set the timing and all that stuff. But first, install the carbs, make a talk. Fix the wires, and that's where we're at. Cut. All right, so we got the fresh carbs uh, reinstalled. And I left the uh, the face plates off just so we can see if the, uh, the the fuel comes up to the venturi. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, so we're we're pumping gas into it. So we're gonna test these uh test these venturis here. No fuel. No fuel. 
because this is not the intention of the video, but for whatever reason, this fuel pump is not passing fuel into there, even though I replaced the, uh, the filter, the, fil the filter here, so now I'm going to have to re rebuild this fuel pump. I mean, I suppose that's the problem, but there's no fuel coming to these freshly rebuilt carburetors. So I'm going to end, end uh, Rebuild this and uh, we're gonna see what happens. We always hope that we come simple, and uh, this is supposed to be simple, but uh, as you can see, it's definitely not simple. <laughs> Okay, so you can see the venturi, the fuel in the venturi right there, and you see the fuel in the venturi right here. I'm trying to do this. So when you spray this, the fuel should spray up through there, which goes through the throttle body, which reduces the atmospheric pressure, which vaporizes it, which turns it into the crankcase, which feeds your engine. So I'm going to spray this. And you see this, the fuel spraying out. That one's really good. Yep, that one's really good too. So, we have ourselves <clears throat> perfectly level uh, tangs. Okay, they're spraying off fuel. But again, these operate off the negative pressure, not the positive pressure. The negative pressure when the air comes in, it hits that venturi, it pushes the uh, fuel up, vaporizes it, pushes it to the crankcase, and then feeds your engine. So, that's the uh, conclusion of the video, maybe, but you know what? I want to make a talk. Unfortunately, it's night outside and I don't want to piss my neighbors off, so we're going to have to redo this uh, uh, talking tomorrow. Okay, it started. Good? Mm hmm. measurements um yeah it would be a great engine for somebody okay we just have the, the cooling system in check and uh, we are good So I changed out the impeller. This one's obviously uh, no good. So we're gonna make a call again, and uh, it's, it's gotta pump water because I put a brand new impeller in there and pinned everything. So. All right, we got a fresh new impeller. What's going on? 